Did you know, thunderstorms are some of the most dramatic displays in nature. They bring with them flashes of lightning, deafening thunder, and torrential rain. But hidden within these storms is something far more extraordinary, gamma rays. These rays are the most energetic form of light in the universe, typically associated with black holes, neutron stars, and supernovae. And yet, they're also produced right here on Earth within thunderstorms. The discovery of gamma rays in thunderstorms has transformed how we view these weather phenomena. Far from being simple meteorological events, thunderstorms are natural particle accelerators capable of producing energies that rival those created in human-made systems like the Large Hadron Collider. But why does this happen? How are gamma rays generated in thunderstorms? And what implications do they have for science, technology, and humanity? Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome to Not So Techie. We're dedicated to exploring the latest and greatest in technology and scientific breakthroughs. Our mission? To make the world of tech accessible to everyone by breaking down complex topics into straightforward, easy to understand videos. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for us. All right, let's jump into it. Let's start by diving into the conditions inside a thunderstorm. These aren't just chaotic clouds of rain and lightning. They're dynamic systems brimming with energy. Inside a storm, updrafts of warm air collide with colder downdrafts. This creates turbulence, driving water droplets, hailstones, and ice crystals into constant motion. These collisions generate friction, which separates electrical charges within the storm. Positive charges accumulate at the top of the cloud, while negative charges gather at the bottom. This charge separation generates an electric field so powerful that it can reach millions of volts, comparable to the output of 100 million AA batteries. When this electric field intensifies, it creates the perfect environment for producing gamma rays. Free electrons within the storm are accelerated to near the speed of light. These high-energy electrons collide with neutral molecules in the atmosphere, releasing gamma rays through a process known as as bremsstrahlung radiation. This term, meaning breaking radiation in German, describes how electrons lose energy when they are deflected by other particles. But the process doesn't stop there. Gamma rays themselves can collide with other atmospheric particles, creating cascades of secondary particles that amplify the storm's overall energy. This natural acceleration process is strikingly similar to what happens in human-made particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. At the LHC, particles are accelerated to near-light speeds and smashed together to study their fundamental properties. Thunderstorms, in essence, perform a similar feat, but on a much larger and more chaotic scale. Understanding these natural processes could help scientists improve the efficiency of artificial accelerators, paving the way for advances in fields like materials science and medicine. Thunderstorms don't just produce one type of gamma ray emission. Scientists have identified three distinct phenomena, gamma ray glows, terrestrial gamma ray flashes, TGFs, and flickering gamma ray flashes. Gamma ray glows are steady emissions that can last up to a minute. These glows occur when the electric field inside a thunderstorm reaches a critical level but doesn't yet discharge as lightning. Essentially, the storm is building up energy, and the glow represents a slow, steady release of some of that energy. In contrast, terrestrial gamma ray flashes are brief, but extraordinarily powerful. Lasting only a few millionths of a second, these flashes release immense amounts of energy. Despite their fleeting nature, TGFs are considered some of the most energetic events occurring on Earth. Then there are flickering gamma-ray flashes, a phenomenon that has intrigued scientists. These rapid pulses of gamma rays, each lasting just a few milliseconds, often occur immediately before a lightning strike. Some researchers believe that flickering flashes might play a role in triggering lightning, solving one of meteorology's most enduring mysteries. What exactly causes a lightning strike? For centuries, lightning has been both a source of awe and a scientific puzzle. Why does it strike one location and not another? What triggers its sudden discharge? The discovery of gamma rays adds a new dimension to these questions. Studies have shown that flickering gamma ray flashes are often followed by a radio pulse, 
a signature of the initiation of a lightning strike. This suggests that gamma rays might not just be a byproduct of storm activity, but could actively contribute to the conditions that lead to lightning. Understanding this connection has practical implications. Improved models of gamma ray activity could make lightning prediction more accurate, which would be invaluable for aviation safety. Aircraft flying through thunderstorms are particularly vulnerable to lightning strikes, which can damage systems and pose risks to passengers and crew. Gamma ray research could also help protect infrastructure like power grids, which are often damaged by lightning during severe storms. But gamma rays aren't just an Earth-based phenomenon. In space, they are produced by cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles traveling at nearly the speed of light. These cosmic rays originate from some of the most extreme environments in the universe, such as supernovae, pulsars, and black holes. When cosmic rays collide with interstellar gas clouds, they produce gamma rays that travel vast distances to reach Earth. Cosmic gamma rays are like messengers from the universe. Because they are uncharged, they travel in straight lines, providing astronomers with a direct view of their sources. By studying gamma rays, scientists can learn about some of the most powerful and mysterious phenomena in the cosmos, from the formation of black holes to the explosive deaths of massive stars. However, the gamma rays produced by thunderstorms on Earth complicate these studies. Ground-based observatories, such as the Large High Altitude Air Shower Observatory, LESESO, in Tibet, detect gamma rays indirectly by observing the showers of secondary particles they create when they hit Earth's atmosphere. Unfortunately, gamma rays from thunderstorms can mimic the behavior of cosmic gamma rays, making it difficult for scientists to distinguish between the two. This issue has sparked a lively debate within the scientific community. Some researchers, like astrophysicist Asha Chilingarian, have raised concerns that thunderstorms might be distorting measurements of cosmic gamma rays. In one study, Chilingarian and his team analyzed data from 56 thunderstorms and found that the electric fields in these storms could amplify particle showers by a factor of 10 or even 100. This amplification could lead observatories to overestimate the energy of gamma rays from cosmic sources. Chilingarian has called for greater transparency in gamma ray research. He has urged observatories like LESESO to release weather data alongside their gamma ray observations to rule out the possibility of interference from thunderstorms. His work highlights the importance of cross disciplinary approaches to ensure the accuracy of scientific data. Not all scientists agree with Chilingarian's concerns. Researchers at LESESO argue that their systems are designed to account for atmospheric interference. They use specialized antennas to monitor electric fields and track weather conditions during observations. According to their findings, there is no direct correlation between thunderstorms and the gamma ray events they detect. Meanwhile, other observatories take a more cautious approach. The High Altitude Water Cherenkov Observatory, HAWC, in Mexico often pauses data collection during severe weather to avoid contamination. This practice underscores the lengths to which scientists go to ensure the integrity of their measurements. To study gamma rays more directly, researchers have turned to high-altitude aircraft like NASA's ER-2. These planes fly above thunderstorms, allowing scientists to observe gamma ray activity in real time. During one campaign, the ER-2 detected gamma ray glows and TGFs in 9 out of 10 flights over storms. It also identified hundreds of weaker TGFs and flickering flashes, revealing just how active thunderstorms can be. These high-altitude studies have transformed our understanding of thunderstorms. Once seen as mere weather events, thunderstorms are now recognized as dynamic systems that mimic some of the most advanced particle physics experiments on Earth. In many ways, they act as natural laboratories where the laws of physics unfold on a massive scale. Looking ahead, scientists are developing advanced tools to study gamma rays in even greater detail. One promising technology is the gamma ray imager, which could map emissions within storm clouds. This would provide unprecedented insights into how gamma rays are generated and how they interact with other atmospheric phenomena. The implications of gamma ray research extend beyond Earth. By studying these emissions, scientists are uncovering new aspects of atmospheric behavior, which could improve predictions of extreme weather events. 
This research also contributes to our understanding of cosmic events, bridging the gap between Earth-based and space-based studies. Thunderstorms are more than just dramatic weather events. They're natural particle accelerators, generating energies that rival the universe's most extreme environments. By exploring the mysteries of gamma rays, we're not just learning about our planet. We're gaining insights that could shape the future of technology, science, and even humanity's journey into space. If you found this exploration fascinating, please hit the like button and share this video with others who love science and discovery. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss another deep dive into the forces shaping our world. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time as we continue to uncover the hidden wonders of our universe.